It's a lovely mango. This is a slow mango. A mango turtle. It's gonna have a happy face. A mango turtle. Ooh. It's a mango turtle. <laughs> Woohoo, rock and roll. All right, we've sliced off the side of the mango and now we are cutting diagonal hash marks all the way down it, across it, and then in the opposite direction. Imperative, do not, imperative, do not go through the skin of the mango. Turn the mango inside out, just like when we made our mango hedgehog, or mango owl, or mango fish, or whichever one of my videos you've watched, and then, we're going to use broccoli to build the turtle body and feet. And look at that. Doesn't that look like a real turtle under there? Yeah, I guess that's what they look like when they don't have the shell on. And we're ready to make the face and neck. This is a cucumber. I would suggest using a zucchini stroke courgette instead or something stronger because the cucumber can get a bit weak after a couple hours sitting there with the neck held up. Alright, um, unless you had one the right size exactly and left the skin on. Okay, shaping the turtle neck carefully. Doing a great job. Uh, this is so nothing short of, hey, you cut off the top of the head. Oh, making the head a bit closer because cucumber is not very strong. Alright, cutting out a face and mouth face and I'm gonna put peppercorns for the eyes so cutting a couple holes for the peppercorns push those in and using a piece of red bell pepper to be the smiley face oh it looks really good doesn't it hello you look so cute and you have a tail perfect isn't it can't do better than this Oh, hello. I just love it when you scratch my chin. It makes me feel good. Oh, yeah. And you'll feel even better if you watch another Sprig Barton video or click to subscribe. It's a mango turtle. I can feel it coming out.